Hello everybody, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy and today we're talking about another great app from Bliss. Bliss has been making really cool iOS software, plugins, synthesizers, a lot of effects and lately, meaning this year, they started to release them also on Mac and Windows. So this is really interesting. And I personally love that approach and I wish every company would actually come up with a Mac and iOS plugin because I move around between my Mac and my iPad a lot using Zenbeats, but it could be other software. The fact that you can have the same plugins, uh, same virtual synthesizers or the same reverb, delay, whatever it is, it's just a big plus for me. So um, that's why on top of sounding good, they're useful in the fact that they're in all the platforms at the same time. So this is really interesting for me. Today, we're, we're, what we're talking about, it's the latest that they have come up with. It's called Dragonfly. It's basically a weird tremolo. Um, they, they have been making these, in a way, when you look at the name, you go, oh, it's reverb, oh, it's delay, oh, it's... But it's so much more because Bliss Every time they release a plugin, an effect, they always have something that you don't see often. Something like having, um, I don't know, a, a modulation, you know, an LFO that controls something, or a side chain input that you don't see often inside these things. So uh, again, Dragonfly is a tremolo, but with a twist that is really interesting. Let's dive in and you'll know what I'm talking about. And I have just this simple little organ track. There's no effects on it right now. It's just playing. Yeah, it's this one here. If I go see, I'm going to put it full screen so you see the whole thing. There we go. If I want to hear it, bring the dry wet up. But it's, in this case, it's a left-right tremolo on top of that. It could be just volume-wise, if you want it to be faster. But it could also be stereo. And you have how fast compared to the time you have here. And this side, you've got the value of the rate here. And this is the output after the factor being affected. Smooth, it's by following. For the smooth, we'll have to go into the self mode, where it's, it's measuring the note coming in. And it's gonna glide between the note, longer or shorter and between the attack and release of how it's gonna to respond to the note coming in. So you can have these really, it becomes modulation with a pitch basically at one point. And that's where you can also have more volume for this. And you can have wild, which is a really loud one, and just becomes weirder. Let's try these before I talk about the next one. So you got this one, which is the they call the Zanny sidechain. Now this one doesn't have any. Even the side chain, and you go, okay, how does this start? Now, the side chain in this case is using this thing at the top here. So you turn it on, and you say, I'm going to use the other track, this track here. I'm going to show you the other track, which is the bass line. So it's nothing, then. So you're playing these notes, okay, basically. But these notes, as an audio information, not as a MIDI, I'm not using the MIDI in this case, but you could also use MIDI as a trigger for, not a trigger, a yeah, a trigger and a control of the pitch 
of uh, the speed basically of the modulation or you can use the audio information and that's what I did with this one so if you turn it on see it activates that's clean activates it and the speed changes if I go back to this thing so the way you make it, so you go here, and so I'm gonna use the alpha, so the other track to play it, and it's a sidechain. It's a really interesting and really powerful. And again, you go wow. A bit more distorted and more fuzzy in a way. It becomes like kind of a driving drive. And this one, this is where the smooth becomes interesting. Here, how it goes from. Uh, the, the other one, okay. you, it's the ending if you want. I like this. This is just bizarre. Wait, if you just want to have the. This is the left right movement, simple one. But the fact that you can actually follow even the internal speed of this one without anything else is pretty interesting. Actually, let's let's do just this. Let's close this one. Let's go for the bass. And on the bass, I'm going to add also. Uh, where is it? The bliss. I'm going to put the. Where? Come on. Bliss dragonfly. If you put the self on this one, you see? It just beefs up the bass a little bit. movement follows the pitch and then you've got the phew, because you've got the smooth thing at the beginning and the attack and the release no release no attack you're gonna have a with release that's it a tremolo with again a twist that has the self oscillation following its own audio the median, I didn't use it, but you understand the same thing as sidechain, but the median is just basically the notes that you're triggering. So you can trigger when it's activated and, and the speed of it, which is really nice. And the sidechain does the same thing. Sidechain doesn't seem to work well the same way in every DAW. It's pretty cool, pretty nice. Again, good job, Bliss. Keep it efficient and, and, and inspiring. Stay safe, make more music. See you soon. Cheers.